Alright, so welcome back to the NPC 500 tutorials. This is the third episode. In episode 1 and 2 we kind of covered the basics, loading and saving, so at least you know how to get some quick beats going. But today I think we're going a bit more in depth with some recording in samples from your record player and also then chopping them up so that you can fully get into sampling and use some drum breaks. So as usual I've got the screen cam here and a general shot of the NPC. Sorry about the no face. But anyway, hopefully you can see the record player here. I've already got a sample kind of loaded up, uh, ready to play on there. I'm just going to take you through the steps. First of all, you're obviously going to want to have the cable coming in from your record player into the two inputs, left and right, to the back of your NPC. As you know, these pads double up as mode buttons, so we're just going to go mode and then record. Got the main volume and also record gain. That's like your gain on any interface or microphone. Press this button in that says mic or line. If we go over to here, you can select mono or stereo. Obviously we want it stereo. Monitor means you can hear it being played through your speakers as it records in, so yeah, we can have that on. The good thing about this is that because it's a bit more modern, you don't have to select how long you want to sample it for. You just start and stop when you want to. So let's get the sample. There's an input coming in when I play it. So let's press do it. It'll say waiting input and you just set it off. Like that. And then to stop it, you press do it again. We'll just assign it to the first pad because it's a new project and that pad's available. Press do it. Now, once you've recorded in your sample, you can either go and record a second bit or you can back out of it and come into just your sequence. I don't know if you can hear it here. It's very, very quiet. So what we're going to do to fix that, mode, trim, you just use the wheel, go all the way to the end and come across to where it says normalize and you just press it once and then it should be normal volume. But say we wanted to chop this sample up into two parts. So first this phrase. So that could be one. And then this one here as the next one. Just gonna go mode and trim. Now sample one is like original name. So we can rename it. This sample's from Smokey Robinson. So I'm just gonna go into name and call it Unknow Smoke. There we go. We'll call it Smoke. Now, this sample here that we've just called Smoke is kind of the bass sample. And anything you want to extract out of it will be resampled as taken as a new sample. So you see what I mean? We're going to go straight into the chops. I know on the MPC 2000 you get the waveform and it's easy to see where the chops are. Here, because it's more compact, you have to completely use your ears. So you see if I bring it all the way down here. It stops, so we have to use our ears to see when to chop the sample. I recommend going a bit further or a bit earlier than you want it, and then adjusting it. So let's see if we can chop the first and the second phrase. So that's too far. That's too short. There we go, that's fine. So that's our first sample. What we want to do is come all the way down to edit and rather than select we want to extract it. So this takes it out of our smoke sample and calls it smoke 2. Uh, pad 2 I know is empty so we'll just put it on there. And now we've got the first phrase. And that's the end. So then if we come back to smoke which is the original stem sample that we're going to take everything out of and cut off the second phrase, we can see that smoke one ends at 14, 21, 37. So we're just gonna match this start point to 14, 31. So what was it? 14, 31, 27. Like that, and we should be at the stop like that. And then we can do the end and cut off those small drum sounds. So come to the end, extract. So now smoke three. We can then play it in any order we want to. So that's how you chop up drum samples 
and you know drum breaks and your normal samples i hope you learned something from the video and hopefully you can go and chop up your own my drum kit's coming on the way so watch out for that the next episode is gonna be about we've done making a small sequence we've done chopping up drum samples next is gonna be about maybe the effects or song mode maybe the slider so hopefully once you watch all these episodes once they've come out you'll be able to go out and make your own beats so anyway thanks for watching watch out for my next videos subscribe and turn on the little bell notification thing so that you know when i post thanks again for 100 subscribers yeah i'll see you in the next one